The DeLorme procedure is a perineal approach to repairing full thickness rectal prolapse. The major steps of this procedure include making the mucosal incision, stripping of the prolapsed rectum's mucosa, suture plication of the bare muscle remnant, and reapproximation of the mucosa. Historically, the DeLorme procedure is more commonly used in Europe than in the United States. While it has been more commonly used in cases of less severe prolapse or when there are concerns for performing a full thickness resection, there is a paucity of data to describe the ideal patient for this approach. The patient should undergo mechanical bowel preparation prior to surgery. A urinary catheter is placed and antibiotics are given for surgical prophylaxis. The patient is placed in lithotomy or prone position. Surgery can be performed under general, regional, or spinal anesthesia or with light sedation and local anesthetic. To begin, the rectal prolapse and anal canal should be everted if possible. A lone star retractor is placed for exposure of the anal verge. Score the mucosa to mark the area of incision. This should be 1 to 1.5 cm proximal to the dentate line, seen here as the area of lighter colored tissue. A solution of saline and epinephrine is then injected here into the submucosa above the dentate line. This helps to decrease bleeding and to highlight the plane of dissection. Potential pitfalls at this stage include not identifying the plane correctly or injecting the saline epinephrine solution too deep. It is important to stay superficial. An incision is then made in the rectal mucosa. We start by taking strips of mucosa in each quadrant, but the procedure can be done by keeping the entire mucosa intact circumferentially. The dissection plane between the mucosa and internal anal sphincter is developed. As the dissection proceeds upwards, it is easier to see the plane and the bright circular area of muscle will become more apparent. The saline epinephrine solution can be injected again as needed to better demarcate the dissection plane. Bleeding from perforators is another potential pitfall and can obscure the operative field. Continue to take care to achieve hemostasis and keep the operative field clear. The assistant should stay focused with suction to track bleeders and remove excess saline and epinephrine from the operative field. Once the rectal mucosa can no longer be pulled any further, the upward dissection has been completed. Usually, a sleeve of mucosa that is 10 to 15 centimeters is mobilized, but this can reach up to 30 centimeters. The excess mucosa is then excised. An Alice clamp should be placed proximal to the excised mucosa to tag the remaining tissue. Next, the rectal muscle is plicated in a longitudinal orientation in four quadrants using absorbable suture. Use pickups to thread the muscular tissue onto the needle. Include the proximal and distal extent of mucosa in each of these sutures, as the same tissue bite will be used for the mucosal approximation. Four such sutures should be placed and tagged, one in each quadrant. Then additional sutures should be placed and tagged in between.
The Lone Star Retractor is then removed. The muscle is plicated and the mucosa is anastomosed as these sutures are tied down. Additional sutures to reanastomose the mucosa can be placed circumferentially as needed during closing. This completes the Delorme procedure.